All Your son was said. 15 months old? 15 months old. What happened? Bro, I think um, he has um, some um, malformation on his brain, which is something that we didn't know. He, he fainted, he passed out twice. The first time was in Cameroon. We took him to the hospital. They didn't find anything. The second time was in Saudi. We took him to the hospital. They did. They ran a lot of exam. They didn't do anything. Um, they did the EEG. They didn't do the scan, uh, the scan or the MRI, because I think, according to them, their conclusion was that he has a swollen lung. You know, and that was what was um, pressing his chest and stopping. Um, him from breathing and create that um, faint. So after all those exams, they give him some medicine that he's going to be okay. Nothing to worry about. Because at first, they even thought about like asthma. They give like a um, ventilator and then that afterward, after some result, they took it up, out and then, uh, you know, be. It put me in confidence, even though, like, I don't know, sometimes I think somewhere in my mind I have to think that, yes, but he didn't show any tr stress respiratory. If he was something from his lung, but I'm like, bro, he w those was professional doctor and these... And then I trust that. Yeah. So I basically like put my gut down. And I remember being just getting in Dubai. And that day I was thinking like, oh, life is. Meanwhile, I'm not doing bad. Life is good. You know, I went to the gym. Like maybe I should go to club tonight. And I don't go to club. I don't go out. Like, man, come on. Which kind of guy are you? I went to the gym well, to work out. Uh, I'm in the bike cycling. Then I tried to call. I wanted to talk to, to him when I was in, in, on the phone, on the bike. Then I called his mom. His mom didn't pick up the phone. Then I'm like, ah, after I'm done, I'm going to go take my shower, lay in the bed, and call him. And uh, 30 minutes after I was on the leg machine, my phone rang. It was my little brother. Say, bro, things are not going well here. I'm like, what? He said, Kobe, uh, pass out. He's not breathing. He's, we are at the hospital. They kicked me out from the room. And I'm like, what happened? And then as we are talking, he's also trying to get information. So I lose him for like three, four minutes. Then after I call him again, again, and then I'm talking to him while he's talking to the nurse. And uh, the nurse was like, who are you? Are you his uh, dad? He said, no. Then who are you? I'm his uncle. Where is that? His dad is not here. Where? He's gone. Just like that. He's gone. What do you mean? He's gone. How come he's gone? This kid was 15 months. He was bigger than 15 months. He was growing. He was the most joyful, happy kids around. Hey, what do you mean he's gone? Gone where? Bro, that was it. Wow. I thought I was dreaming. I thought they're going to say something. No, that's not true. And then I keep calling again. And everybody is confirmed. I call my mom. My mom is just on tear. Like, bro, what the fuck is this? And that was it. Wow. I'm sorry to hear that, man. I Thank can't you. imagine. <clears throat> I can't imagine. And it's also the, the, the pain of knowing there's nothing you could have done. Yeah. It's just a medical thing that he was born with. Yeah, he was born with. Because, because when it happens, everybody was confused. Nobody knows. So, get home. Then, what should we do? 
Let's do an autopsy. Well, you know, that one was tough because you think that they say, you know, what that they're going to tear him, cut him, cut his head. Like, uh, I mean, a kid that yesterday you were going excited to talk to him, now they are talking about like, cut him this way, this way. Like, how come that is like? Oh. But, you know, it's at least good to know what happened. Maybe that might save somebody in the future because it's still a mystery there. So, say, let's do the autopsy. That's when they find all this out. Yeah. Phew. The last time I saw him was me leaving Cameroon, going to the elevator. And he was at uh, my, he was with my little brother, and he didn't want me to go because he became my body so much that he didn't. When I'm around, he don't want me to to leave him alone. He can, I can take him whenever, wherever I go. He he might not don't eat. He doesn't care as long as he's with me. Like that was it. He was my my mate. Like 15 months. He be, he's barely walking. But, you know, when I walked in, you know that I walked in. You don't have, they don't have to ask, like, who, who, who walked in? They know that this is that, you know, he, he reaction. Or oh, then you start to think about all those little things, all those little things that you guys have, just you and him. Then it's over. Then it's over. When he was, the day that I was leaving, he was crying, like, wanted me to go with him. But I kept going. I knew that, oh, I'm going to be back. I have no clue that that was it. Wow. I always say I should have go back one more time. Spend <sighs> one more day. I know. How came one more time? Man. That was it. And then he get back in the apartment and see all his toys. The stuff that he was playing, the thing that you take you take uh, from him the other day and put here is right there. But he's not there anymore. And will never be there 